We have a 40 year old man admitted for the treatment of DVT, deep vein thrombosis. The plan of care includes orders for anticoagulants, heparin IV continuous infusion per protocol. What nursing interventions for anticoagulants should be included in the plan of care? Hello everyone, this is Nurse Mo from Rofem and Clex Academy. Let's take a look at this question together. When you have patients receiving anticoagulant medications, you need to understand the medications in this group. Anticoagulants are used in the treatment of disorders where it is necessary to reduce or prevent new clots from forming. For example, DVT, that's what the patient in this question has. Heparin can be given by subcutaneous injection or IV infusion. Whenever you receive an order for heparin IV continuous infusion, it is important to follow the rate ordered by the doctor very closely because the order is based on the patient's APTT result. APTT will be checked periodically as the heparin IV continues. So, nursing actions include checking the APTT result as soon as they are received and be sure to report abnormal values to the doctor. Our patient in this question has DVT, so take note of this. For clients with DVT who is receiving heparin infusion, APTT should now be higher than 87.5 seconds. If it is higher than that, you need to contact the MD and place the patient on bleeding precautions. Monitor patients for signs of bleeding and skin changes at the IV site. Monitor also for signs of heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, HIT. That's a serious adverse reaction to heparin. Also include in the plan of care, blood samples should now be drawn from the arm where the heparin is infusing. What are the other interventions you think we should add? Feel free to add them in the comment section. Thank you for watching and learning from this video. Like, subscribe, and follow this channel to stay updated. If you have any questions, you can place them in the comment section. I'll see you next time.